In the previous tutorial, you've just seen me creating clouds using a customized brush. The exciting thing about the brush was that it's all readily available with Elements inside Photoshop using Brush Dynamics, so we didn't have to download a plugin or we didn't have to get a texture, which is absolutely fantastic. Next thing I'm going to show you is how to use this brush uh, properly to give us realistic clouds. So here's something that I came up with, and here's another thing that I came up with as well. Okay, so again I'm going to open up a new canvas and I'm just going to create a gradient you don't have to do this but I think it looks quite cool okay so here is my gradient the next thing I want to do is select a another layer and what we're going to do is using our brush that we created in the first tutorial if you haven't seen it I go I advise you to go back a step and have a look at my previous tutorial and our brush is already loaded in there so here it is, my clouds, brilliant. Okay, select that. Okay, now I just want to start by simply clicking, click, click, like so. And okay, that's fine. Now the next thing I'm going to do is add another layer and I'm going to go back to my brushes and my diameter, I'm going to make that a bit smaller. And I'm just going to add some detail like so okay and I want kind of want a bit down here like so okay brilliant and what I'm gonna do is add another layer and I'm going to increase this diameter of my brush like so and I'll stick another one in this corner like so as well and then I'm going to do that again and I'm going to make my brush diameter a lot bigger so I'm going to give it around about 350 okay and I'm just going to add some more details into it's too much and the nice thing about clicking is that I'm just going to go edit and do is that it, you can create a randomized um, effect so the brush is set to randomize 100 so it's, al it's always going to give us um, a random effect okay and I'm gonna do another one and I'm gonna bump my brush up just to round about there which is fine and I wanna keep a bit of that detail in the middle and what I'll do, I'll make that just a bit down and I'll just fill some of that in there. Give it a bit more natural puffiness. And I think I'm quite happy with that. Uh, I'll just do another one over here. Okay, now the next thing we want to do is we want to go back a step and on layer one so basically what I've done is I've just separated the clouds in different layers on different diameters okay the reason why I've done this because we want to add a bit more depth to our clouds so if, what I want you to do is double click go to your layer options and add a drop shadow and what we're going to do is use the color and just switch that up to a bit more of a darker blue like so and I just want you to drag the opacity down and you can see what's happened in the preview channel there so if I switch that there and you can see those clouds there that detail that's quite cool okay I'm gonna select OK and the next thing we need to do the same for the other types of clouds so you can see the detailed ones there and what I'm gonna do again is change that to the color to a different shade of blue and that works fine so we can we'll see that detail. I'm just going to knock that down slightly the opacity of that down and select OK and what I'm going to do is click on layer 4 and I'm going to select drop shadow and you can see that there I've switched that off you can see that right there and again what I'm going to do is change the color of my shadow to a blue so you can see that there 
and so I'll leave that to 75 I think that's okay I can get, get away with that on that one and again on the same for layer 5 I'll just add a drop shadow and we can kind of m make murky clouds or whatever depending on whatever um, mood that you're feeling in and I'll select OK that's fine now the next thing I'm not going to do that you get the idea I'm not going to do that for layer 6 the next thing I want you to do is select layer 1 and go to filter and go to render and we'll say um, we'll add a lens flare which is quite nice and I've put that over I've positioned that near the white area over here and we have a nice lens I'm using 50 to th uh, 300 zoom you can use 35 um, prime which will give you a different type of lens um, of lens flare but I, I kind of like that one and go ahead and select OK and you can see that that detail in there as well now the nice thing is if we want to er eliminate some of the detail or get rid of some of that some of the detail in the clouds you can go back into the individual layers and use another soft brush something like um, if I go back to the eraser and something like 100 or you can switch that to um, a 300 brush with zero hardness which is going to give you another soft brush so you can go back and kind of eliminate that that detail so there we have it that's how that's how you could one way to use um, that that brush that we've seen in previous tutorial and I think it looks quite realistic it's a lot better than some of the stuff inside Photoshop with the rendering clouds anyway so I'll leave you to play around with that till your heart's content and there we have it realistic clouds